Hey guys, what's up? This is a new video talking about a band called Spinebreaker. Now, Spinebreaker are basically like death metal. Hey guys, what's up? This is a new video talking about a band called Spinebreaker. Now, Spinebreaker are basically like uh, death metal with a little time bit of like hardcore uh, influence on it. Uh, but overall, they have like an old school kind of sound. And this was released on Creator Destructor uh, Records. And uh, these guys are from California, they formed in 2013, and this is their debut album, and it was uh, released on January 15, 2016. And also, this is called Ice Grave, I have mentioned it before. So, we start off with uh, the song Enter the Storm. Uh, just like a cool intro, with, like sounds like a fucking storm. And then that goes right into Into the Ice Grave. Heavy as fuck death metal from the beginning, and every track on this is just fucking heavy as shit. There's some, uh, you know, different little uh, intricate parts where it's different than some death metal. But really, I can hear a lot of entombed uh, influence and shit. And you move on to the song Internal Bleeding. Uh, you know, uh, more of that old school sound. And good riffs and heavy bre uh, there's just breakdowns, but they're not annoying breakdowns. And they're heavy as shit when they are included. Uh, and then you move on to Fractured Existence, the four track. Um, Songs kind of meld together, like you know, they're cut and sliced together where they're actually playing into one another, and you know, that kind of is interesting and keeps you on your feet. And the style is really great, you know, like uh, there's never really a dull moment to the music, you're never like, ah, this is fucking boring as shit. This is actually usually a great shit. And uh, you know, Severed Denial, same thing, heavy, interesting, the vocals are really fucking good. Same thing with uh, River of Pain, the sixth track. Same thing with Slithering, uh, Slithering Tyrant, uh, seven track, you know, um, Withering Blizzard, that is another track where you just kind of get that fucking awesome death metal feel, and you kind of hear little tiny bits of hardcore influence, but I don't even know what people consider these guys really ha uh, ha having much hardcore influence at all. You mostly hear the death metal, you might hear a bit of like death and roll at times, uh, and then you hear the song Flesh Wound, same deal, a bit of maybe death and roll included, but you know. It's mostly just an awesome uh, death metal. Uh, Entrenched, another great fucking song. Uh, you know, Heavy as Balls, uh, I really do like that track. It's just that uh, sometimes you get the, at a point in a lot of death metal albums I find, and these guys are no different, you kind of like, you kind of like, eh, it's kind of getting a little bit repetitive. But with the last song, uh, last two songs, Divine Mortal Being and Merciless Victory, those songs kind of break up the boredom. With it really, and you look at the artwork uh, on this release, great fucking like black and white with all these like demons on it and shit, uh, uh, fucking grim reapers and all that cool shit, you know, average uh, death metal art you could say, or like, you know, old school death metal art. Over overall, all the st songs string together and they're they connect well, and the style is average but not boring. Like you know, uh, there's not many, uh, <clears throat> there's not many. Uh, ways I can say this is breaking break the mold or really creative, but I can say that this is some quality shit. It is a uh, good death metal when it, uh, you know, is being death metal. You know, all the death metal elements are great, um, but you know, it's there's nothing really to write home about. If you're interested in death metal with a slightly different sound than uh, some bands have, then you might be interested in this. But if you just think, ah, well, you know, I'm not really interested in much, uh, you know, much death metal at all, then you're not going to be interested in this because it's not really breaking the mold at all. It's not really stepping out of death metal's comfort zone. But that's kind of typical, you know, death metal doesn't really uh, break too far into the comfort zone that it has set up unless, you know, <clears throat> certain bands take in other elements, but usually uh, that doesn't happen. Uh, so yeah, if you like death metal and you're looking for some death metal to listen to, then I'd suggest this. Uh, I never really, I'd, I'm not gonna say it's an amazing album if you you have to listen to it, and if you don't, you're a fucking fool. But I am gonna say it's a pretty decent release. Uh, overall, I'm gonna give this <clears throat> a 73 out of 100. I did think it was good. It's just that little bit of. Sometimes you're kind of a bit ready on. Maybe like um, after the ninth or tenth track, you're just kind of like, eh, and you're waiting for something to kick ass again. But eleven and twelve pick it up pretty nicely. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about this album. Uh, tell me what you thought about it in the comments below. And all the happy horse shit. I will leave their band camp uh, in the description so you can go listen to this uh, fucking album. And uh, have a great day, guys. Peace the fuck out.